Previously on Super Mario 64. In the last episode of Super Mario 64, Mario managed to disrupt the continuum of time and space, and an unbelievable weight fell on his shoulder for disrespecting the time spectrum. There is no way that he can avoid getting away from Bowser with his homing attack that goes beyond every spectrum of madness. Can he survive this and the upcoming obstacles? Let's come back and see. Aw, oh, poor Mario. Now he's sad of going and play with fishes. He's so down that he cannot even go here. So anyway, it's been a while. Welcome back. I wasn't sure about continuing this beyond Bowser's castle, but I've gotten a bunch of requests for me continuing this playthrough, so without any further ado, let's dive in. So, Jolly Roger Bay is definitely one of the most unusual levels of the game, because this is a recursive lake that we're dealing with. Every single layer of lake that you dive in, you will fall into another dimension. And therefore, you might have to dive several times into the bay in order for you to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, you see this ship over here? Well, I'm sorry, but it's going to be much harder than that to get here. So, the key to this whole place is that, well, in order to get to the proper Jolly Roger Bay, you have to go to Jolly Roger Bay and then Jolly Roger Bibby. And now we're at Jolly Roger Bibby. And it's a really good thing because, as you may know, Bibby 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 is pretty much the first sounds that an infant makes, so it's therefore her return to childhood for Mario. Also, I totally meant to hit that heel, by the way. It's part of the experience. I'm doing this in order to make Mario a man. So, with that said and done, now you can dive back in and you need to have a proper view of the ship in order for you to properly enter it. I never really understood what was the deal with going to the heel and then afterward you're able to uh, go into the ship, but I don't know, that's kind of a moot point. So we have this puzzle here, where you have to open the four chests into a proper order. And with this camera angle, it's even easier, because now you can see all of the chests all at once. Because, you know, you might miss the chest that is behind you, because you were be like, Oh, I can only find three chests, but where chest number four will be? I can never figure this out! Also, don't try to do this tactic of swimming straight for the star which is here, because... In certain versions of the game, you will see that it doesn't work, because, hey, you see, we're just going to get the star here, mission accomplished, nah, because you need to overcome the challenge, it's definitely a better thing for you to do. So that means we need to do this jumping section, and it's kinda hard, I mean, for course number 3, it's kind of a tricky part of the game, but... As you can tell, I definitely have some experience with the jumping in this game, so at least it's not gonna take us too long in order to finally accomplish. And here we go, star number 9. Ah, poor Mario. I mean, this was such a hard trial that he really doesn't want to talk about it. Or maybe he does, I really don't know, but... Either way, we have a star, but... Okay, I guess that was too much water level for Mario, so... Yeah, I guess we're not coming back in here anytime soon, so... What could we do instead in order to pass the time? Because I kinda want Mario to play with the fishies, but it's getting kinda tricky to do now. Or is it? Because... Yeah, there's this hole here, you may remember the secret aquarium that you can go into. Well, it's here, and I found out the proper tactic in order to do the slow vol. If you enter the slow vol, whenever the clock of your computer or the Nintendo 64 reads 4.44 p.m. and it's on April 44th, which in equivalence pretty much stands for a certain date in May, well, you will become a sign when you enter the aquarium, and therefore this removes your need for you to breathe in order to stay underwater, but unfortunately the water corrodes your sign, so you still have the limitation of time that you need in order to get all of the hate red coins in order to get the star into the aquarium. With that said, it's kind of a zen place, because it's like a giant aquarium where no human beings could possibly disturb you. It's full of magnificent fishes that just mind their own business. 
and the intruder has finally gone. And with that said and done, we have 10 stars, so you know what time it is. Now we can finally go and get the wing cap. I'm in such a hurry that, eh, fuck doors, we don't need any of them in order to get to wherever we need to go. So, you know the drill, you just stare at the sun, and here we go! We can finally go and collect 8 red coins and press on the red switch. With that said, however, you have to be careful because... Yeah. This level of the game was definitely one of the things that made it so that this was a poorly received game upon release because this one level could just blow up your Nintendo 64 and just issue a shit ton of emulation problems that will just paralyze your gameplay experience. Right now you're just staring at me just pressing the error message continuously on my emulator trying to make this thing work. But here we go, we finally got this thing going, the sky might be glitching out a bit, but that's okay. Because you see, in this one level, one of the reasons why there was so much graphical errors and what and whatnot is that, well, they attempted to draw polygonal clouds, and back for early console like this, this was a huge strain on the console. So at this point, we're not gonna get... Oh, okay, I guess we have a chance to get the... Ah, uh, I probably should have gotten another red switch, but... Alright, at least we have the cap, so... I figure we can just go back to the hellish depths of the castle in order to go back to heaven. Okay, now this worked really well whenever we were in the aquarium, so maybe this is what we need to do in order to be able to succeed in this one part of the game. Can we collect all of the red coins as a sign? Well, all signs point to yes. With that said, however, this is the hard part because, holy shit, at this point you get so much speed that it becomes kinda tricky to just go and collect the coins, and hello, we can count every single particle of this one cloud over here, but... Yeah, the big problem here is that now we're in grave danger of just running out of flight before we can get to the star, so can we make it? Oh, we just barely ran out of time. That's such a bummer. Oh man, Mario is so chill now. He's just so relaxed that he's just going to take a nap while he's flying all over the place. I really respect the guts of Mario because he's such a cool hero. Ah, it's just such a happy sore. Alright, now it's time to surf the sky. Hell yeah. And what you're hearing right now is just a remix of the song that was kind of hidden away into the game file. It's just the same song, except this one was sung by chipmunks. And he even gave them instruments in order to play, so that also was one of the novelties of Nintendo back at that time. They were not shy of taking any risk. You will be saying, oh come on, giving chipmunks instruments is kind of a dumb idea, but... That doesn't stop Nintendo, hell no. They can do whatever they want and they will succeed because that's how they roll. And this time we're finally going to be able to get the star. Yeah, when I told you that all signs pointed to yes, whenever it come to the victory of this one place. So, we have 11 stars, so might as well just pay a visit back to this one place. I don't remember if we even needed the wing cap for this, but... Yeah, don't worry about this. We're just gonna figure out what's gonna happen, but unfortunately, Lucky 2 is on launch break right now, so... Alright, I guess I'm just gonna go entering for a while. <sighs> ah, that's so delicious. So anyway, we're finally going into Cool Cool Mountain, and no, we're not gonna get the penguin, because honestly, it's kind of a dumb star to get, so instead we're just gonna adventure a little bit, and we're gonna do one of those other optional stars. Honestly, I'm not a fan of collecting the 8 red coins, and you cannot do the snowman unless that you get the 4 previous stars, because this one star will only trigger if you do all of the other heavens, so... We're locked down to getting star number 6, which is the one that you get for doing wall jumps. 
Will wall jumps work? Well, hopefully they will, but yeah, we kind of have a problem here because we still need to open the cannon, and right now Mario has, has fallen prey to the trick of the creep penguin, which is to put crazy glue all over the snow. The snow is white for a reason. It's here in order to make it so that... Yeah, so that uh, the camera just suddenly pans out just to make sure that you don't miss the highland that you must go on. So, alright, now we have the cannon open, it's time to finally go and get that thing going on. With that said, the hardest part of opening the cannon is to make it back to the highland after that. It's definitely a hard feat and most of the time you will just die upon making this uh, journey. Okay, so apparently the game wants us to read this sign, so what does this sign has to say? Cameraman, closer, closer. Okay, here we go. Now we definitely have the time to decipher what is being written here. Uh, I don't know. Mario, give me a hand! Okay, I guess this is what is written there. Maybe it's Donkey Kong written this sign. Who knows? I mean, this is 1996, so it was still not too late in order to advertise the Donkey Kong Country games, which were made, I think, in 94, 95, and finally there was Donkey Kong Country 3, which was made in 1996, which was pretty close to the end of the life cycle of the SNES, so you still have to support the old library after that, or at least give them a wink. Now, this is probably one of the better moments of Super Mario 64. The moment where Mario realizes that he's a pacifist. Don't use cannons, don't do war. But unfortunately, we need to use cannon and war, so I do not care for your objection, Mario. You will be shut down that cannon, whatever you want it or not. And here we go, you still get rewarded. Your little angel told you, here, this is all fine. Thank you very much, I'll go crash at your place. Especially if you have a bottle of whiskey in a fireplace. So now the question is, do Mario has any of those things? So unfortunately the crazy glue is still doing its old effect, so... We're just gonna spend some time trying to jump again, and here we go, now we can finally long jump this gap. So, for the people who aren't too aware of this star, well, it's definitely a huge detour, and this is why it's called Wall Kicks Will Work. Because you have a series of rather hard jumps to do, and this one is probably the hardest one of the bunch. The first jump is kind of easy, but yeah, even Mario is scared at the prospect of doing this jump. Yeah, you see, it's really, really tight. And now, to cap it off, we have to walk across this very narrow ledge, and... Yeah, even the ice is covered with glue. What kind of crazy mastermind came up with this idea? This is definitely crazy. Okay, so things are clearly not working, so maybe we need to give Mario a big mushroom? No, it's not working anymore! What the hell is up with this star? They should not have called it Wall Kicks Will Work, they, will, they should have just called it Everything else will not work, so we're just going to make it so that getting the star relies entirely on luck. That's kind of a poor design decision. So, that'll be it for this update, I think. Next update, we're gonna go and get some more stars, shall we?